Alright, so a trailer for the Owl House Season 3 Watching and Dreaming just came out, like, right now. I, I'm i not kidding. I just got home from school, with, opened my computer, and it's right there. So I'm going to sit here and react to it with you guys right here. <laughs> Owl House Season 3, Episode 3 Premiere Special Watching and Dreaming Trailer. It's only 55 seconds. Now, this is already an interesting show. I'm not going to be that, that guy that pauses it throughout the entire trailer. I'm going to do that after, like I did with my Sonic trailers. These trailer videos do tend to go well as well. So if you guys want to stick around and see other videos I've produced, produced, <laughs> put out, like my Sonic Mania series, which I just started, um, which I do have another episode of that coming. I need to record it still. But it's coming, and I'm going to continue Sonic Mania, and that's what I'm actually going to commit to. So, I know I didn't do a review on For the Future, and I feel so bad about that. But my OBS and my camera decided to break, and then I started using OBS for streaming, and then that didn't work. It crashed every time we tried. So I'm going to go back to my other streaming thing for now, and we'll see how that goes. But for now... We have this trailer right here, so if you like this video and want to see more, please like, subscribe, share this with anyone you think might like it. You know, we just, we are over 50 subscribers by now, which I am very happy about, by the way. Thank you guys, but I'm going to stop procrastinating because I'm scared. Where do you think magic comes from? From the heart? You need to choose yourself. Us weirdos have to stick together. Wait. No, Lilith! <gasps> Wait, she is an easier than I thought. Rain! Let me show you some of my favorite games. Collector! Oh my god, the man's Pac-Man. No! Let's end this. Oh my god, he looks sick though. You know this can't last forever. I know. What? Us weirdos have to stick oh. together. No, don't give me that line. No. <laughs> no, don't give me the us weirdos have to. Mm, that is like my motto by now. Like that is like my motto and that's something I say to all like with all my friends. So, starting right here, I know in season 3 Amity ended up changing her nails from uh, black to pink, and I know her sleeve on her costume is also white, so this could be Amity as a puppet. Plus, Amity would know how to make a glyph. I'm curious why it's in the ground like that, because if she is a puppet, then I don't know how she's controlling herself, but maybe it's like a hoodie situation. Um, maybe, like, because her fingers would, she can, like, scratch the ground, maybe? So that she's making a glyph. I noticed that Luce was in a, um... So we're actually gonna go through this, and I'll actually pause it this time. So... That picture they just showed, actually. That seems like something... If I can get back to it. Yeah, this seems like something that would be taken from, like, the beginning of the series. Obviously, Luce goes back to the Owl House, but this is, like, probably when she first moved in. And then there is something in Bellos' throne room. This isn't a shot of the throne room we've seen before. Because every shot of the throne room we've seen, ha Bellos has been in it. There's never been a picture of just his empty throne room. So, well, it's not empty. There's someone in his chair. It might be loose. The hair looks like it could be loose. It looks like she's sleeping. I can't, I really can't tell if that's loose or not. You need to choose your so, Luce is just walking through the Emperor's Castle. I'm very curious about this. I'm also curious where King is. Notice how King's not in his collector outfit anymore? Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I loved the collector outfit on him, but I get why he's not wearing it. Wait, are those... I, I didn't notice that. Oh my god, wait. Those are I. Are those... Is he taking over the land? Is he actually going to possess the Titan? Well, maybe this is him being destroyed, because the little light particles, that's the same thing that happened to Flapjack, right? So if this is him getting destroyed, then maybe those are the palacemen getting released, because he eats all those palacemen. But it looks like he could be like, look at 
the environment around them. They look like shocked, shocked. So either someone just died, or something along those lines. Like some, maybe someone got hurt, and then now like be or Bell's possessing the Titan because that is a popular theory going around. And I was thinking of doing a video about it, but I really didn't. So then there's Ia flying away, looking all sad, I guess. This is I can't tell if this is a shot from Thanks to Them or not. But this is loose. She might be trying to go back to the in-between realm to interact with that um that Titan looking creature. Um from For the Future. Then Lilith's back as a puppet. That's sad. Notice how they actually have strings now, so like they're actually like being controlled controlled. Then this is the interesting part. Loose is is the Titan on fire? I'm going to look more into that after. I'll make a community post about it if I see anything about that. But that looks like what the glimpse of the day Uni was going to look like. So, anyways, Luce is dressed as the Emperor, which is interesting. And String Bean's there. That's so cute. Then there's her dress, still dressed as the Emperor, looking off the bridge, and then... Oh, no. Petrified is something that can't be undone, right? I really hope this is just in her head, because there is no way. Perhaps this will be easier than I thought. Was that? I don't like the heartbeat noise. That's... Like a fragment of the Collector's powers or something? Is it, This could be a flashback, because notice where he is. He's in the Collector's room. And he still possessed Rain. So is this like a flashback of, like, maybe he gets all powerful later? And then they're questioning why it cuts to, like, a flashback of how he got a fragment of the Collector's powers or something? That's gotta be, like, a fragment of his powers. So Bellus did have a plan. Easier than I thought. Then Rain is getting... I want to say possessed again. But... I just accidentally... It's accidentally... <laughs> so, Rain's being possessed, but Bellos throws his other half onto the ground. They're in his throne room, so... Could he be going after the Heart of the Titan? He looks like he has a plan. He knows where he's going. This is the throne room. The only other thing that he could take over in this room is the Titan. Just throwing that out there. Then, again, the emphasis of the three final people that are going to save the Boiling Isles. Luce, a, cur a human, a cursed witch, and a little king. What? And then, this is after they reunite. They're on, like, some sort of chessboard. So when he snapped, does that separate everyone but those three? Then he's Pac-Man. Was that Willow? I didn't actually notice that line. Just captions. Some of my favorite games. Face. <laughs> you have to wake up. You have to wait. Yeah, that was Will. <laughs> Ida's like, what is going on? Like, Ida's trying. Looks like she's about to break out of that. Luke, Luce is like, what? And then King's like, this is normal. This is fine. You have to wake up. So this is all in Luce's head. Not this, I'm assuming. But, like, the Emperor stuff. That was all in Luce's head then, right? How? You turn on the light. You turn on the light. They... Amity... What is up with their outfits? Will is in her Hexide uniform. Hunter is in his Golden Guard uniform. Gus is in... What is that? Is that his Grom outfit? That might be his Grom... I think that's his Grom outfit. Then Amity's in her season 2 outfit, besides the earrings. Which is an interesting thing for me to notice. <laughs> They're all... No... So the Collector did something, because if you see there, that's definitely his magic. Then this is earlier, I guess. Where Gus is saving a Hexide student. The statues in the back are an interesting detail. Then this is Luce running from something. This is literally where they left. <laughs> Ghost Ridge. <laughs> That's the cat moment right there. 
Okay. Notice how Amity is like putting her hand in front of Luth's like look out. You can see above them like some things are definitely changing. Or that could be a star. That might just be a star. But you can tell this is exactly where they left off because Camilla still has all the palisman over there. And Luce string being is transformed into her staff, which means that's directly how it ended. Luce and Amity were together, they were celebrating, Camilla was sitting with the palisman. Oh, that looks sick. And then this is right, this must be right after when Amity gives her the glyph. Saturday, April 8th. 10.30 PT? I don't, that's not for me. I think for me it's 9. This can't last forever. I know. Uh, they do not look like they have life in their eyes, honestly. Everyone but Hunter looked like they were f fighting so... Could this be in Luce's head? Like, are they fighting in Luce's... I'm sorry, is that Flapjack? That says it. This has to be in Luce's head. Because, look, they look so lifeless, besides Willow, but her eyes are glowing, so you can't really tell. Hunter's... dead. <laughs> but this is where Luce was standing, no? So they're either fighting someone in front of Luce or fighting Luce. Which I guess if the collector's trying to get in Luce's head, then a great way to get throw her off balance would be to have her fight her friends. Then Gus has all these glyphs. This? What is this? Like, I guess I could... King's crying, that scares me. I guess I could see this making sense for King, because he's like a titan, so he might... This is where the Bellows stuff is. So, is that like Ida literally controlling her curse? And then King's crying, so something must have happened. But I guess I could see this making sense for King because he's a titan, so he might be gaining more of those powers. But this makes no sense. I guess this could make sense to Ida. And then it looks like they go and try and save the rest of the puppets. That looks like what they're doing. And they all are using... I'm curious if the Collector cancels out their magic because they're using glyphs. And then this has got to be right when they reunite. Us weirdos have to stick together. Then it gives me the us weird. Mm -mm, don't give me that. Uh, <sighs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this little react. I know this is a shorter video. I know I don't want to get into too much detail, and there's a reason why. Unlike the other two episodes, I don't want to start going making too many guesses and major theories and start looking stuff up for two reasons. One, I'm scared of spoilers, because for the other two episodes, that was a bit major issue. For thanks to them, the Hunter stuff was leaked early, which, gotta be honest, I didn't believe. I did not believe those leaks whatsoever, and then it actually happened, and I was like, mm. But then again, it was a nice surprise because I didn't believe it, so that's fine. But then for the features, entire episode came out, I think, a whole te week early. Something around, a week or two. I didn't watch it. I, wa I saw a few clips, and I was mad about it. And then I saw the trailer, and I was fine until the actual episode came out. And then I was even more fine because that episode was awesome. But I'm scared with this episode. I don't know how many different leaks are going to come out. I've seen two already. Luckily, two of them aren't too major. I'm not going to mention either of them either to save you guys from it. But, yeah, and then this, the second reason is I don't want to look stuff up in case of spoilers. I want to go into this episode not knowing anything, not understanding anything. I just want, for once with the Owl House to actually be surprised. Because there are very few episodes of The Owl House that have actually really surprised me. One of which was King's Tide. Like, that episode, by the end of it, really got me. With Bruce and her friends returning home. I figured the Collector would be released and stuff. But what he did the second he got released, Bellos got... He painted the wall green. That is what we call it. We call it him painting the that's what I will call it forever. This is probably the shot I'm most interested in, besides the Ida and King one, but 
I don't know, Bellows having the collector's power seems... Gonna be honest, as much as I hate Bellows, that seems awesome. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching this reaction. If you liked the video, then like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of me or my friends. I, mo most of my videos I tend to do with my friends, but my more recent ones have just been me. But I will try and do more stuff with my friends. I really want... I have a fun video planned with them, basically. And by planned, I mean we need to find a good time to do it. But thank you for watching this reaction. I promise I will release a video about For the Future and... What's this episode called? Watching and Dreaming. Because that link, thanks to them one, I tried to edit it like I edit my Bleach ones, and that didn't... It went way too... Way longer than I wanted it to. And the Bleach ones... I, t I already explained to you guys why I'm not doing the Bleach ones anymore. Like I said, I'm doing those... I'm reviewing each quarter as they come out. But... That's it from me today. I need to go edit this video out because I want to get this out today. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.